Someone's got a question for you, Aeon. Oh? What is it? What's your question, dude? Don't, don't say I, ha I have a question and don't give a question. <laughs> yeah. I will say, I do understand why they did it, but I kind of, like, it's kind of oh, no. sad uh. that the Hammer of Dawn was only useful for, like, three sections of the first game. I understand why it was done that way, because you only really need it for fighting deserters, and you can't use it on a train. Because I mean, let's... Well, no, let, let's be real, though. You would use it on literally everything if you could, though, oh, for the yeah. entire game. If you could get away with it. But originally, the Berserker fight was actually supposed to be done with a long shot with a sniper rifle. That was a close one. Oh, originally, I did not know that. Originally, that's how you were supposed to kill them. You were supposed to be, like, when you get to that big open area, uh, you were supposed to run up to the little gazebo area and find the long shot there, and then you were to peg the fucking Berserker in the head until it died. Hey, you actually deal with the tyrants in Doom Eternal. You shoot it till it dies. <laughs> oh, I, I just thought that. That would be a little bit more terrifying because I'm scoped in. I have a very limited view radius and aspect ratio, and I just see this big, hulking, screaming, armored locust charging at me at the speed of a freight train. You know what's really not to not to go back to because I, I just think we're talking about games in general. In Mr. Joe Meal, thank uh, you for hosting. Um, uh, one of the, one of the, uh, flood infection forms that was cut from the game, there were a few of them, but, uh, one of them, um... Okay, this is a very odd question. But, uh, what? They're asking, can I turn a female MLP pony into your OC? Please say no, I'd rather ask Riley or Logic that question. What? Well, uh... I don't get the point uh, of this question. I don't get the point of this question either. At this point, just don't worry. I know what I know what they're talking about. They are turning little uh, figurines from actual MLP figurines into RMCs. Ah, <laughs> sure. I'd I'd be fine with that. I guess. Sure, I'd be okay. I'd be okay with it. What being rule sixty three? No, uh, um, they're using, they using a figurine to make your OC from a figurine. Mm. Yeah. You don't need to be roll 63. You already look great in a maid outfit. <laughs> <laughs> don't forget the harem outfit, too. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> or a bunny outfit. A bunny girl outfit. Yeah, I, was, well, I, I just know. mentioned that. And I could have gone the rest of my life without knowing that they existed. <laughs> <laughs> Well, too fucking also, bad. Back, Welcome to hell. Back to the thing about the Hammer of Dawn against the Berserker from Gears of War. I just realized how fucked up that method is. You can't shoot through the fucking armored hell. shell of the Berserker, uh, right? No, no. Uh, so the solution is to cook the fucking thing from the inside with a giant death laser from space. That fuck, fuck, is fuck. fucked. I mean, it worked. They still won. It, it was. It does work, but it's just. Like, I can't like, shoot through you. Someone no, no, but, fucking cook you. <laughs> no, no, but this reminds me of uh, one of the cut infection forms from Halo, where you know the the carrier forms, the ones that explode when you shoot them. Yeah, the they bubbles. Shoot the polyps. Yeah, yeah, like the flood, essentially flood suicide bombers. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. There was originally a variant of them that had a jackal shield embedded in the front. That's fucking torture. Yeah, that no, Bungie, Bungie cut it out. Bungie cut it out for a reason. Who the fuck came up with that idea? And are they, Bungie. Are they still alive? Can I go find them? I'm gonna go find them. You won't find them. Considering how long ago Halo was Mad game, Vlad. You probably won't find them. That's just that's just taking like taking the piss out of the player and going, fuck you player. You don't get to have fun anymore. Well, I mean, <laughs> if it's games from the nineteen eighties. I mean if it's only in the front of the bubble thing oh, no. head, like, yeah. if I remember, those ones don't move very fast, do they? No, but it's the rest no, of them No, they don't that move fast. fast. But they usually yeah. aren't alone. They have, like, the brutes, the converted brutes and the converted humans with them. Yeah, I know, but it's just like, if, like, if the problem with putting a jackal shield on the bubble infected thing is that there'll be a massive shield in front oh, of it, oh, oh, no, 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 no. if it's slow to move, oh, it might be slow to turn as well. No, it is, um, but imagine if you're in a place like the library or in other places, it's at a distance. It may be far away, but it does oh, make you, sure... But yeah, it does make it, like, if you don't have any grenades, 
or anything like that, you usually have to wait until it's already in exploding distance of you to do something about it. And if it explodes on you, then you have the flood crab things on you. Yeah, the little polyps. Uh, oh yeah, the, the infection spores. Yeah. I, hate I hated those things. Um, they were only a problem in, like, they were only really an issue if you didn't have shields. Like, if your shields were still up, they were, like, pretty piss easy to deal with. Hmm. I were, I, I you... played that game when I was a little stupid, stupid babby, so I did not have the intelligence to, to make that cognitive dissonance, so I would have died. A lot. But now that I've got a big man like brain... <sighs> Now that I got oh, a big man brain mire and alcohol, I might do better. <laughs> I can't wait until the Halo Master Chief Collection for the PC comes out with all of the games so I can experience oh, all of them properly for myself. I'm still hunts. waiting for the custom modes for Reach. Oh, I Duck want, Hunts. Like, Reach custom road. <laughs> Dark Hunts. That immediate sprint, that immediate sprint out of the gate in Halo Reach Duck Hunt is the most terrifying thing because it's like, am I no. going to be the one okay. to die? There was, there was a variant of Duck Hunt in Halo 3, where, um, oh, no. you were in the skybox section of, shit, um, shit, that shit. one DLC, you know that giant DLC desert map? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, well, here's what we did. Dropped, uh, a sniper tower in the middle. This is where the hunter is. Everyone else, there was a giant circular ring. A gi essentially a giant racetrack. It's huge. And you get to go on a mongoose, and all of you have to drive through this perilous racetrack, which has its own obstacles on it. And, um, all the while, the duck hunter is is trying to snipe you and everyone else, un unless you can make it to the end, where you teleport to him with a power-up that enables you to kill him. Yeah. Oh, that oh, that was a, that was a fun one. No. That was a really fun <laughs> one. What the fuck? No. What the fuck? It just disappeared! It just dies. It just... <laughs> yep, it just dies down from under you. What the fucking the brick just decided golden. I know you put a lot of effort into this, but like, fuck you and your family and your family. Hey, bro, I'm gonna let you finish, but I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. I'm gonna end some transmissions somewhere else. Whoa! Come on, come this on. This is no. what it means to go even further. Beyond. This is Brick Disappearance Level 3. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like you're trying to act like Batman from Christopher Nolan. <laughs> hey guys, you know what this is? I am Christian Bale. Guys, you know what this is? This is why Mario hates Brick so much in the Mario games. It's PTSD. <laughs> All of a sudden, the, the, the freaking platoon theme plays while he's like reaching them. You can just see it in the bed, like, it's just he sees Brick, he remembered Kin Folly. It's, like, it's a me, Mario! I'm coming to break like, your legs! Those, it's like, even if all those innocent toads were turned into bricks by Bowser, Mario has a vendetta that he needs to work off, so. The day of reckoning will come soon, stay tuned. <laughs> oh, Baba. And again, that isn't me like, like that isn't me taking jabs at Mario because Matt Pat made a video some few hundred years ago. That's literally <laughs> when what he actually the like Mario made good says. content. Man, fuck, man, fuck Mario, man, fuck Mario. My boy Gex had the shit playing that shit on my fucking PlayStation. Golden, okay, Golden two and not three like are pretty good. Theory, Hang on, what logic? You don't like Game Theory, apparently. I don't- okay, I don't- okay, hang on, hang on, hold on, let's back it up for just a second. I don't necessarily hate Mad Pat, but he's become such a sellout, and his videos are like, they don't have as much effort or as much of an engagement as he used to. Not as bad as, uh, that and I never for videos. On, uh, like, you can- like, his videos you can disagree with, and that's really no problem. The fact that he spent a lot of effort, even if it was a joke, there was a sense of, like, there was some effort put into fun. it. Yeah, there was a sense of fun to it. Afterwards, mm. it, it just it, he, he seemed to have just lost his touch. Mm. Oh no! So, like I was indifferent to him until he made that uh who win like that for honor deal, who, samurai knight and Viking. And when he said that all like Viking warriors had basically no armor and the only like the like if they were lucky they had a sax knife, I was like, 
No. Um, no. Okay, I'm saying this as an- I'm saying this is a legit initiated Odinist. No, the Vikings always had armor. Typically yeah. it was chain mail. Yes, exactly. It was a form of chain mail, and a sax knife was a tool. That was yeah, no, no. It, it, knife. Like, to give you an idea, uh, how much he got- he got everything super wrong there, um, the Vikings in the history of swordsmanship actually legitimately made the world's greatest sword. And I'm not even exaggerating. Yes, the Uthbert. The I... Uthbert sword was literally indestructible, double-edged, and like, e even if you could bend it, it would actually warp, it would actually flip back into its own shape the moment you broke the hold on it. Yeah, like, as somebody who used to do historical European martial arts back in, like, seeing that video pissed me off so much. Oh, they have no defense against archery. Really? One of their greatest tactics actually... was a shield wall. I, I want to hold the conversation up for a bit. I think Leah Convoy did a video on that. Like, ugh, oh, that- it pissed me off so fucking bad. As somebody who dedicated most of his life to the art of swordsmanship and studying the great swordsmen of the ancient world, Matt Pat dropped the ball on that so fucking hard. Yeah, and Clown. the other thing is that, um, I can- I can say this for two weapons, so prepare for this, because this is a rant I always give. Um, my source for this are history for one and like southern gun southern gun reviewers and collectors for the other. Here's what it is. Damn it. Um, the two most overhyped weapons to the to the point where they're actually not nearly as usable as you might think are um, the katana and the desert eagle. And the katana is actually this for a reason. The katana's metal and it really. Oh, no. Credit where it's due. It's amazing for what the Japanese had to work with, but if you gave the metal that they used to make Japanese swords to a European swordsmith, or even an, or even a Chinese Thank one, you, they would laugh at you. They would laugh at you and call it pig iron, as in stuff that wouldn't be fit for any. Yeah, it would not be fit for any sort of combat. It would be fit for making pot or pots out of, if anything, because ah. J Japanese as an island is very resource poor, so. They made a sword that was good for that, but a katana could only realistically cut a person two or three times before the blade was too dull and needed resharpening. Mm -hmm. It was also entirely possible that while you used it, if you held your wrist the wrong way, you might break your own blade. And when the Japanese invaded Okinawa, the size swords that they used to counter the samurai, the idea was you would you could like twist the size sword to catch the katana, and you would use the other one to shatter the blade. The you would hell? never be able to do that with a, a mainland Asian sword or a European sword. Okay, hmm. at um, point somebody said, I'm also part succubus, I'd rather not use lust against anyone. <laughs> interesting. Oh no, it's fun. <laughs> interesting, very interesting. I, I, I'm oh! Trying, I didn't, um, well, I didn't like... want to say anything. It's... I didn't... Um, I mean, like, and the, as for the Desert Eagle, it's an impressive gun, but if you want a 50 caliber pistol, Smith & Weston 500 SL Revolver, because a semi-automatic handgun cannot handle the full power of a 50 caliber handgun cartridge, so it's gas-operated. And also, from every- from the owners that I've seen that have them, they said, um, they've never actually been able to clear a magazine out of one without it jamming midway through and needing constant lubrication. Aeon, like, I have prided myself on being able to say I have not been- I have not been caught by your wiles, but you're making a strong case for yourself right now, man. You're saying all the right shit. You're saying all <laughs> the right shit. Yeah, right, like, like, if I was going into battle, like, either an Uthbert sword, even though, yeah, I know you can't really- they weren't really that affordable. You still had to be a really well-off as far as, like, raiders went to be able to afford one. But a claymore was fucking cool too. Just the idea of it is brutality personified in a blade. That is a claymore. <sighs> I can't remember which culture originated it, but like the three-sided sword, nope. like a double blade, like double blade, but the three. Uh, comes the fat bird. Like they don't. Uh, it's mostly what the uh, the angel blades from uh, Supernatural are based on because. In real life, they're basically banned because they don't heal properly ah! once you stab somebody with them. They are incredi- like, they are incredibly painful to get stabbed by. And just, they look cool. Like, if you ever get the chance, look up three, like, three-edged sword. Those things are fucking cool. It's like a little fucking diamond. Hmm. 
If I got stabbed by anything, like if anybody stabbed me to death with anything, stabbed me to death with 